Catholic Holiness Church of Jesus Christ located in Houston, Texas. Elder James Eugene Manuel is the pastor and general overseer. Prepare your hearts to receive a word from God as Elder James Eugene Manuel minister the gospel of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord and good morning once again. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. In spite of what amen, is going on and despite how busy the devil is, amen, God is greater. Amen. The word of God declares to the saints that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. If so be, amen, you are a saint. Amen. If you have been born again of the warning of the spirit according to the scriptures if you have repented of your sins obeyed the gospel of jesus christ amen and went down in water by water baptism in the name of jesus christ for the remission of your sins and been filled with the holy ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues and living a holy life afterwards amen you are a saint a child of god but otherwise if you have not yet obeyed the gospel amen you are yet in your sins and in need of a savior. Amen. I'm not talking about the savior that most so-called Christians, amen, in this world, amen, worship and praise. Amen. Not the type of saint where you go to church, amen, a couple of days a week, amen, and put your money in the bucket, amen, sing some songs and go through the motions and afterwards, amen, you're still, amen, in your sinful ways, amen. You're still lying, you're still drinking, smoking, amen, on drugs, Amen. Porno junkies. Amen. Committing fornication and adultery. Amen. Shacking up. Amen. Sleeping with strange flesh. Someone that is not your husband and not your wife. Amen. If you are participating in such devilment, amen, you are not a Christian. You are not a child of God today, this morning. Amen. You are a child of the devil. Amen. Currently, you are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father, you are doing. Amen. That's what Jesus told those unbelieving Jews. Amen. He made it plain. Amen. The Bible says to write the vision and make it plain. Amen. So I'm here to make it plain to you this morning with the little few, amen, short time that we do have. Amen. This is, amen, Apostolic Holiness Church of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are now located, amen, in Houston, Texas. Amen. In our new location. Amen. It is 5820 Katy Freeway. Houston, Texas, 77007. That's inside the Hampton Inn and Suites Hotel. Amen. And we will have service tomorrow at 10 a.m. Amen. That's just right outside of downtown by five miles. Amen. So we thank God for the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank God for his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Amen. Jesus Christ, he died on the cross. Amen. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day. Amen. And he went back up to heaven where he came from. Amen. And he poured back his spirit upon the church. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Starting on the day of Pentecost. Amen. According to Acts chapter 2. Amen. Praise God. He told them to tarry at Jerusalem and wait until you be endued with power from on high. Amen. And you can receive that power from on high this morning. Amen. If you want the Holy Ghost, amen, you have to keep the commandments of God. You must repent of your sins. You must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and you must be filled with the Holy Ghost. God will fill you. Amen. He did the same thing for me. Amen. And we thank God. Amen. Praise God for all things that he has done and what he is doing. Amen. We even thank God for the storm that he brought. Amen. In this area. Amen. Praise God. False prophet may tell you that the devil done it. I'm here to tell you. Amen. That's a lie. God brought the storm to Houston. God brought the storm to Texas. Amen. He brought the storm to Puerto Rico. He brought the storm, amen, all over this world. Amen. That's how God talks to people. Amen. That's how he talks to a wicked land. Amen. Houston is a very wicked place. Amen. So that was judgment. Amen. I know it doesn't sound good, but amen, it's the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. And I got Bible to prove it. Amen. Turn with me to Psalms 148. Amen. Verses 7 through 8. 
It says, praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons, and all deeps. Verse 8, Psalms 148, fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind, fulfilling his word. Amen. So Hurricane Harvey fulfilled God's word. Rita fulfilled God's word. Katrina fulfilled God's word. Amen. Every hurricane and every storm that them have taken place have fulfilled the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But we thank God, amen, for showing mercy. Amen. Even in the midst of judgment. Amen. Many of you are alive today because that was God's mercy upon you. Amen. Hallelujah. So you still have a chance to get it right. Amen. You still have a chance to come out of sin. You still have a chance today, amen, while the blood is running warm in your veins, the breath of life is still in your nostrils, amen, to come out of darkness and into the marvelous light of Jesus Christ, amen. You have a chance, amen, to obey the true word of God, not sitting under a false prophet telling you that God knows you can't help it and do the best you can, amen. That is a lie. That's nowhere in the Bible. The Bible says, amen, we can go ahead and Luke chapter Amen. 13 verses 1 through 5. Jesus said concerning this, there were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. Amen. So Pontius Pilate, he killed these folk. Amen. And he mingled their blood with their sacrifices. Amen. That they was sacrificing unto false idols. Amen. In that time. And this is what Jesus, amen. How, this is how the Lord God Jesus Christ responded to that. Amen. He said, verse 2, And Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans? So Jesus was acknowledging that these Galileans who Pilate killed and mingled their blood with their sacrifices to false gods, he acknowledged that they were sinners. Amen. They weren't saints. Amen. He said, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, nay, said no, but except ye repent, in other words, turn from the practice of your wicked ways, ye shall all likewise perish. Amen. He said, you're going to die in the same or similar matter. And then verse 4, Luke chapter 13, are those 18, in other words, 18 people, upon whom the tower of Siloam fell. Amen. A big old tower just fell and killed 18 people. Amen. Let alone a storm that God has spoke into existence. Amen. He said, and slew them. In other words, killed them. Think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you nay. In other words, no. But except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Amen. And praise God. In the gospel mentions, we can turn over, amen, to Luke chapter 24. Verses 44, and he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures. Amen. So you need to pray and ask God to open up your understanding, so you can understand that Acts 2 and 38 is the only plan of salvation. Amen. Matthew 28, 19, it bears witness to Acts 2 and 38. Amen. And now we're going to read verse 47, Luke 24. He says, and that repentance, in other words, turning from your wicked ways. Amen. You have to stop living that kind of lifestyle if you want to be saved. And that repentance and remission of sins shall be preached in his name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Because Father is not a name, Son is not a name, Holy Ghost is not a name. Those only titles, but Jesus is the name. You must be baptized in Jesus' name after you have repented from your wicked ways. Amen. Not some false prophet telling you, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost and never use the name. Amen. He's a false prophet. If he's not preaching Acts 2.38 as the only plan of salvation, he is a false prophet. Amen. The devil has sent him. He's working for the devil. Doesn't matter how many members he has. How big the building is. Amen. How much money is coming into the offering. Amen. He is a blind guy on his way to hell and leading you to hell if you're going to continue to follow him. Amen. You need to run from your life. Amen. And come to the truth. Amen. Obey the true word of God so your soul can truly be saved. 
and not just going through the religious motions. Amen. Not having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Amen. That's what most of the so-called church world is doing. Amen. They have a form of godliness, whether you have a Catholic form or a Baptist form or AME form or a Kogig form. Amen. Or a Church of Christ form. Amen. It's all forms of godliness. Amen. No words in appearance. Amen. But you are denying the power thereof because you have not obeyed the truth yet. Amen. So he said that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Amen. And we're going to go ahead down for the sake of time. Acts chapter 2. Amen. Praise God. That's when, amen, those 120 disciples in the upper room had received the Holy Ghost. Amen. Saying when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord and in one place. And suddenly there fell upon them, amen, a sound like a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Amen. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit of God gave them the utterance. Amen. And the Apostle Peter was full of the Holy Ghost, preaching on the day of Pentecost, something that the false prophet don't have. Amen. And he preached that Jesus Christ is both Lord and the Messiah, whom, amen, they rejected and hung on a tree and crucified. Amen. He rose again from the dead after three days and three nights. Amen. Even as, amen, it was prophesied in the scripture that his soul was not left in hell, neither did his flesh did see corruption. Jesus Christ, his soul went to hell in our place because that's where sinners go when they die in their sins. Amen. Jesus became sin for us. Amen. So you don't have to die in your sins today. Amen. You have a chance to get it right. Amen. Praise God. Jesus paid the penalty, amen, on the cross for us. Amen. But you must obey, amen, the gospel. Amen. You must likewise be a partaker in the death, burial, and resurrection. You must die to sin. Amen. That's what repentance is about. You must, amen, be buried with Jesus. Amen. Through water baptism in Jesus' name. You must likewise receive the resurrection power. Amen. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues as the Spirit give the utterance. So Acts chapter 2, verse 38, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you. Amen. Not just for the Jews back in that day. Amen. He said, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Amen. And many other words that he testify and exhort, saying, save yourselves from this untoward generation. Amen. And upon that day, 3,000 people obeyed that gospel. Amen. The true gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. So, amen. You can hear more word. Praise God. You can go on our website. That's ahcjc.com. Amen. You can look us up on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Amen. But tomorrow, amen, we will be having service. Amen. Inside the Hampton Inn and Suites Hotel. That's 5820 Katy Freeway, Houston, Texas, 77007. That's 5820 Katy Freeway, Houston, Texas, 77007. Inside the Hampton Inn and Suites tomorrow at 10 in the morning. Amen. You can give us a call after this broadcast. Our number is 832-360-5812. That's 832-360-5812. 5812. Amen. So until our next broadcast, if it be the will of our God, may God bless you and keep you in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. And yeah, well, we, I guess we got a few seconds left. So once again, our number is 832-360-5812. That's 832-360-5812. Amen. We will have service tomorrow at 5820. Katy Freeway, Houston, Texas, 77007, inside the Hampton Inn and Suites Hotel, amen, at 10 a.m., amen. You're more than welcome to come, amen, and may God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, and we're now signing off. God bless you.